the F-A-18 and the EA-18G aircraft, taking today's warfighter into tomorrow. Capable, reliable, cost-effective, versatile. Introduced in 1978 as a multi-mission aircraft, the F-A-18 Hornet replaced the F-4 Phantom and the A-7 Corsair II in the fighter and attack roles. The Hornet was designed to be affordable in development and production, and even more importantly, affordable in life cycle cost, where the key to success is improved reliability and maintainability. These goals have been achieved by this proven platform that will serve our nation well into the 21st century. The single-seat F-18 was the nation's first strike fighter. Today, the F-A-18 is an attack aircraft as well as a fighter. In its fighter mode, it serves as an escort and in-fleet air defense. In its attack mode, it provides force projection, interdiction, and close and deep air support. Throughout its service, weapon systems, sensors, and countermeasures have been upgraded. The F-A-18Cs and Ds grew to be far more capable than the original F-18, with night attack, precision strike, and low observable technologies. In December of 1996, the next generation F-A-18, the EF Super Hornet, achieved first flight. It became the most versatile, capable, and survivable carrier-based strike fighter in the Navy's inventory. Building on the legacy of the Hornet, the Super Hornet is 25% larger, giving it greater range. It's built with 42% fewer parts, making it still more reliable and maintainable in the fleet. A low radar cross-section, an advanced electronic warfare suite, and a flight control system that detects and compensates for battle damage enable the Super Hornet to execute missions with five times the survivability of the Hornet. Full rate production of the Super Hornet began in February 2000 after it received the highest possible rating in operational evaluation. In December, the Super Hornet was delivered to VFA-115, its first operational squadron. The Super Hornet achieved its initial operational capability in 2001. In the global war on terror, it performed new combinations of varied and distinct missions, including air superiority, fighter escort, defense suppression, all-weather day-night precision strike, reconnaissance, and aerial refueling. The latest variant of the F-A-18 is the EA-18G Growler, which will replace the EA-6B Prowler. This airborne electronic attack AEA aircraft combines the newly developed jamming capability upgrades of the Prowler with the unmatched tactical versatility of the Super Hornet. The Hornet, Super Hornet and the Growler have many commonalities that enable them to work together. One of these is AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar. AESA has a higher success rate than previous radar technologies. Its open systems architecture incorporates commercial off-the-shelf components and is anticipated to be more affordable, requiring maintenance only every 10 to 20 years. Tracking twice as many targets as the radar it replaces, the AESA features active electronic beam steering, which allows the radar beam to be repositioned nearly instantaneously. The Growler, like the Super Hornet, has been developed on cost, on schedule, under its required weight, and has met all performance qualifications. The Growler was rolled out at Boeing St. Louis facility August 3, 2006. First flight followed two weeks later. As the Growler began assembly in November 2006, it was recognized with the David Packard Excellence and Acquisition Award. And the following year, it received the 2007 Flight Award as the Defense Product of the Year. The first Growler was delivered June 3, 2008 to Whidbey Island where the aircraft was ready for introduction to the fleet and initial test and operational evaluation followed by initial operational capability with VAQ-132. In the more than 30 years since its inception, the F-18 platform has grown to become one of the most capable, reliable, cost-effective and versatile aircraft in the history of naval aviation. The F-A-18 Hornet Super Hornet and EA-18G Growler will provide the U.S. Navy with strike fighter and airborne electronic attack capabilities, bridging the gap and taking today's warfighter into tomorrow.